when it comes to restoring DNA, there's different aspects to it. There's DNA, which obviously comes from our parents, grandparents, and it's genetic. And some of that can be affected by the world in which we live, circumstances and situations genetically within that. Sometimes there are epigenetic factors, which are things that are attached to our DNA, which can come from previous generations and have a negative effect also. You know, I, I obviously did apply communion to my DNA to look to see anything within my DNA, both negative traits, triggers, switches, because there's a whole load of DNA, which is called, which used to be called junk DNA, but actually is an area of triggers and switches, which do trigger or switch on certain genetic things, depending on our environment. So if you are proactively living a healthy lifestyle, you're eating correctly, you're sleeping well, you're exercising, you're looking after yourself, you may never see any things switched or triggered to turn on so some people may have switches and triggers for let's say diabetes but they live a healthy lifestyle and it never gets triggered environmentally so they never get diabetes but it's there within the dna so i look to apply it to any triggers any switches any actual genetic uh, things where genetic material was was um missing or had been deleted or where genetic material had been altered in any way uh, in a negative way which was not how god intended me to be and i applied the life of god the life of jesus the body and blood of jesus to that dna so i could live forever you know so i would not die so i would live in immortality so it's part of a bigger subject health and wholeness immortality to live forever to not die um requires our body not to actually go into those failures that our genetic material may have it also is about our mindset and an attitude towards it what is our belief system where is our conscious reality what are we choosing what reality are we choosing are we choosing immortality as a reality um there are choices we have to make our minds need to be renewed in that whole process now you know you can specifically walk with jesus through your dna and ask him as um, the healer to bring healing and wholeness to areas of your dna which may need to be restored or made whole there were certainly seed within my dna which was seed from other forms you know you can have serpent seed you can have cane seed type of things you can have you know, nephilim seed you can have some things which have been in the history of our genome which shouldn't be there wherever they've come from God didn't design them to be there. So those things can be removed and we can be restored. Now, our DNA also has a third strand, the strand of light, which is the record of our spiritual um, identity and God's design for us, which can bring the light to the other strands of our physical DNA to bring them back into wholeness. So the more truth you know about yourself, the more that truth or light can bring that revelation to your dna as well so entering into the reality of the vast sum of god's thoughts can in itself renew our mind to the truth of who we really are and our identity is not to die our identity is to live blessed to be blessed to be fruitful to multiply to increase to have the sonship that enables us to fulfill what god's calling us to do there are some people who do sort of dna ministry you know it's not something i'm into myself but there are people out there who do it but it often tends to be never ending there's always something else for me i would ask the father is there anything in my dna or ask jesus as the truth is there anything in my dna that needs to be dealt with and then deal with it as he shows you that's my encouragement in everything I only do what you see the father doing ask the question see what he says and see if he'll lead you into any specifics um, that can be dealt with through communion or through whatever method that he shows you to do and that could be declaration choice choosing a reality of the wholeness of your dna lots of different ways to bring about change and transformation in our lives if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much